Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Satisfactory. And I let the game run since the last episode. Uh, I haven't built anything really since then. Whoa. Except, uh... Except a coal line, which we started last episode. And I'm stuck on this... <laughs> oh no! I'm <laughs> stuck on this ladder. Okay, there we go. Nice opening to the episode there. So yeah, we built a coal line. I'll just quickly show you. Over here, there was two impure coal lines back over this direction. Back there. Um, and we got a Mark II belt here. Now we're only getting 60 coal per minute out of them because they're crappy. And we're using a Mark II belt because I'm going to upgrade the stuff in a bit. We're going to upgrade those to a Mark II miner. And right now I'm just merging that in here. It's kind of not very tidy, but merging it here with the other coal line and that's going in here and that's keeping our coal generators happy at the moment we're getting pretty close to running out of power so that's a thing but we need more coal to be able to expand i think i might i might do another six generators along here but we'll have to tap into two more water back there and tap into more coal uh, but i got some research i want to unlock now now that we've got some stuff collected overnight. I let the game run overnight when I was sleeping. And we got a bunch of stuff collected. But let's just see what we want to unlock next. We got current milestone right now is logistics mark 3. We just need some steel beams for that, which I have stored away. So I want logistics mark 3 so we can get the conveyor belt 3 and lift 3 so we can get faster stuff going on. I also want to get advanced steel production so we can start making some of this other stuff. And the Mark II miner. We already got this one. Hyper tubes. We're gonna be we're gonna need these first and we can't make them yet, so. Let's go get some steel beam and get this one going. That's on the second floor. So we're gonna go up there. Now there's only one foundry running up here because I was kinda limited on coal. So, uh, time was on our side in terms of letting this run. So we got two containers full of pipe now. And not quite two containers of steel beam. So we're going to grab a couple of these. I might store some of this on the ground. And I got to put my flowers away. Take a few more of these because we're going to need them, I think. That should be good. I guess there one there's one other change I made and I gotta show you that. Can we fall down here safely? I think so. So I got an alternate screw recipe. So I redid my screw production here. And left a lot of garbage around. Um so we're using this alternate uh casted screw. If we look at that recipe, it uh uses ingots directly to make screws, and it's quite a bit faster than the old regular screw recipe and we don't have to go through rods so pretty cool we're getting 75 screws per minute i've got this overclocked so that we can get 75 and we're not quite consuming 75 down here i think we might only be consuming 60 and then iron plates were consuming 30 but i only have 20 on each belt here so it's a little bit uh it's not quite optimized but it's working and let's see what we're storing up here. I just noticed the power poles look different. Look at that. It changed the it changed the art. I thought something looked different. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's empty. We're stockpiling reinforced iron plate here. And over here we're stockpiling modular frames, which we've got two containers full now. So that'll come in useful. Come in handy, not come in useful. Uh, so let's get that milestone completed. Get those beams in there. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Of course it can. Okay, so we got that. Let's select the next one here. We want advanced steel production next. I'm going to select that. 
We'll oh, we can't fill up the thing yet, so we'll have to wait. That thing will be back in five minutes. What else can we do here? The screws, I keep carrying these around. We'll just pile, pile some of them up here. But we don't need all those modular, fl modular frames. The flower petals I can put away. That should be good. Now we do need to go upgrade some miners now. I think I'll go upgrade the coal mines first because that'll help things a lot. Let's see what we need for those. Production. Oh, I don't have Miner Mark II yet. But we do have better belts now. But that's not really going to help us just yet. And we need more steel beam for that. Okay, what could we what could we do here? I think the coal coming from back there is 120, and we already got a 120 belt, so that's not going to help much. I think we have to wait for the Mark II miner before we start really turning on the fast belts. Let's go see what uh, we can make here in terms of. I'm going to put an assembler here just so I can see the recipe. So smart plating, reinforced plate, and rotor. We could start making those kind of just with one constructor or assembler. What else do we got here? The versatile framework requires modular frame and steel beam. We could also be making those. We've got tons of modular frame. We'll have to bring the beams down, I think, maybe manually. And I can't remember how many of these we need. But let's go find out. At the old space elevator. Okay, let's see here. We got... We need 500 of each. 500 of those. And then the wiring, 100. Okay. We can start making both of these, I think. And I don't think I'll build, build like an elaborate belt system. I think what we'll just do is create an assembler and kind of chuck, chuck some stuff in where we need it. Okay, let's do that maybe over here. I am kind of limited on power, so. So smart plating, rotors, and hit. Reinforced plate. You know, we could automate that. Because we got rotors kind of over there, back a ways, and we got... Hmm. Well, let's just... This we can belt up. Mark II. Oh, I should've, probably should have done it on the other side. Let's do it on the other side. That'll just go in there. We need power, of course. Our new fancy power lines. Stick that in the corner, maybe. And we only really need 500, so... The rotors... I'll just chuck the rotors I have in my inventory for now. Get that going. Two parts per minute. And we need 500. Hmm. Okay. I think for this I'm going to put a container and I'm just going to walk some rotors over instead of belting it because the belt has to come from over here. Uh, you know what, we could belt it over. Let's just do this. This is temporary. We're not going to need these parts forever, I don't think, unless we need even more in the next round. So if we do a stacker here, this is not going to be very clean. I apologize in advance. We'll stick that up high so it's not in the way. How many rotors do I have? Did I have two? No. We don't have a whole lot of rotors. Let's grab a few for here for personal use. And let's grab a few more for the ground. In case I need some more later and we exhaust all these. And then we'll do a belt from here. Actually, let's do a stacker here. Get it off the ground too high. Lots of room. Stick that up there. Too steep. Okay, we'll go, uh, I guess we'll go one up for now. You know what? We'll, we'll build it back a bit. 
we'll stick it right here instead. That should work. And that can go... Oh, this might be too tight of a corner. Oh no, it'll allow it. Okay. And then this can go... Let's take this away. We'll do this. This can go in here. And this can go... In here. So there we got rotors, we got... Reinforced plate, iron plate. And we got four already, okay. That could take some time. We could overclock it. I think I have more slugs to convert, so I uh, might as well do it. Get that going. Better check our power though, because we're, we're gonna... We're really on the edge for power at the moment. I think I'll put some temporary foundations here to make it easier to walk around. Oh, we're still okay. Okay, that's... that's going. We should probably chuck that in a container. I can't remember how... what the max stack size is here, though. Hmm. We don't want to make too many of them, but if we make too many... It's not the end of the world, because we can... We can just feed them into the... Destroyer thingy later. Now, the base is not... the factory is not supposed to go this far out, but... We'll temporarily put a container here. Get those in there. Okay, that's smart plating. What's the other thing we want to do? Versatile framework. Frames and beams. Okay. We got frames right here. So I have a feeling this is not, like I said, not permanent, but we just want to get those made so we can get to the next tier. So we'll take some frames out of here. Ooh, that's too steep. Bring it around the corner here. Maybe get that off the ground. And that will go in there. So that's frames. And the steel beams, we'll chuck a few in there right now. And we need power. Let's do another power in the corner there. That can go there. And same thing, let's load those into a container. You're probably why, wondering why I'm doing all this temporary stuff. And that's just because I, I just want to get the research done. I, I have no idea what comes next, so I don't want to overinvest in building too much for this stuff because I don't know what the next step is going to require. And that we could technically overclock as well. But we need to feed beams in. We don't have a whole lot of them. We could bring a conveyor belt back down. But it's probably easier just to hand deliver. Do some hand delivery here. That's probably not a good angle. Well, it actually allows it. Okay. Steel beams, here we go. Oh, oh. Let's grab them all and then put one away. And over here, let's grab one of those. That's good. And we'll chuck those beams in there, but I don't want to use them all. We need a couple on us as well. You know what? Let's chuck them all in. And then we'll go back and we'll get another stack because we're going to need them for research and stuff. Jump pads are fun. Okay, how many do I want? Let's take five stacks. And this should be backed up soon, in which case all of the stuff will end up over here and we'll get more beams coming out. But let's go get that Miner Mark II so we can go upgrade all our coal so we can get more coal flowing into the base because that's the bottleneck right now. 
They really made coal like a precious resource. Okay, let's chuck 1,500 rotors. Oh, wire. Okay, that's okay. We don't really have much of that on us. Uh, what else do we got here? Rotors. Concrete. Okay, we just need some more wire and some more concrete. Now, I do have a whole bunch of wire in a container over here. Let's go get those. And maybe we can clean up the trash I left behind as we're going. Now, I haven't really done much of the copper production at all. That's probably good. It's just, uh, it's not really in demand yet. I think when I get to the the computer stuff, I'm going to need a whole bunch of copper. But for now, not really, not really a biggie. Let's clean up our mess from before. Okay, wire, time to wire it up. Milestone reached. Improved miner included to double extraction rates and improve efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Sounds good. Okay, what's left? Oh, hypertubes. Okay, so we need encased industrial beam. That's only that's the last thing left in tier four, so. Let's see if we can handcraft this heavy encased beam. So beam and concrete, that's easy to make. We don't have a whole lot of beams though. I need to expand my beam production. How many do we need here? 50. You know what? We could bang that out, I think. Uh, yeah, we could do that. That's not really fun to watch though. I could set up a constructor. to do it. Yeah, let's set up something automated. I don't want to sit here and do that for 50 of those. Concrete and beam. We'll just quickly do a assembler, sorry. And we don't even have to have... Don't even have to have containers. We'll just hand, hand load this stuff. Cased industrial beam, beam, concrete. You know what? Let's add an output container though. Because. Why not? We'll build this properly in the future. We'll just let that work away. Uh, should be good. You know what? We should load. We should load as well. I wasn't going to, but we're going to do it. And I don't have much room here to maneuver. We'll do a container this way. I should stop building temporary stuff, but I love doing it. Okay, that can go in there. This will be steel beam. I guess we'll stick it all in there. And then concrete, we'll do, I don't know, like this. We got tons of concrete. Not on us though. And that'll go in here. We're running out of space doing all this weird stuff. Let's go get some concrete. Let's grab a... Let's grab a bunch. Oops. That is not what I wanted. And back we go. We could build a belt from there to here, but... We're being agile here. Let's stick, uh, that should be good. We'll keep four concrete on us, because it's always handy. Okay. Now the hyper tubes. We need, let's go get some more pipe. Some more pipes, more beams, and that copper sheet, I think it's called. Got that stored away in here, I think. We need 300, let's grab 300 and then an extra 
just in case we need it for pipes later. Lots of running around this episode. Can't wait to get the jetpack. We got a serious beam deficiency here, but we'll fix that. So let's just grab it all. Is this actually being made still? Yeah, it's just really slow. And we'll grab... You know what? Let's put one of those back so we have more room for pipe. Oh, something just shut down. Oh no, we just lost power. Oh crap, we got too much stuff going. Too much stuff. Probably because I added those assemblers. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just turn... Turn that one off for now. And try to get the factory back online. No. Jeez. Hmm. Okay, that one's off. Maybe we have to turn... Can I turn it off? Oh, it just tried to come back online. Um, what else can we cut off? I haven't really added that much more. Well, I guess I added all this back here. We, it might be a different problem that we're having. But I'm going to turn this one on te off temporarily. Stand by. Try to fire everything back up. Oh. oh, we are at the red line here. Uh, let's go solve our coal issue once and for all. Okay, what's the miner mark two require? Okay, we got everything we need. We just need a few more industrial beams and then we'll be good to go. Okay. We're good. We're good to go. Let's put that up there. And I think I had some stacked away here. We'll grab all of them. Okay. Case industrial beam. Yeah, we got enough for two. We need four portable miners. I don't really need to be carrying around screws. Four portable miners coming up. Oh, these don't stack. Jeez. Uh, we could load a bunch of this stuff in here that we're not using. That can go in. Oh, we don't want to. I don't want to put that in yet. Oh no, it's stuck. Cancel. Uh. I think they're stuck in there now. Maybe. Did I get it? Did I put it back in my inventory? No. Oh well. Oh well, it's gone for now. We'll put that in there. Can you drag it back out? No. Oh well. I'm gonna have to handcraft some more. Okay, we got. Four of those. No, that's not where I want to be. I want to be over here. Okay, we're back to handcrafting. How about that coronavirus? Talking about crazy stuff in the news. Would love to hear your thoughts on what you think of the coronavirus seems to be in almost every country now growing quickly in Iran Italy where else uh, 
the US? <laughs> not really, not yet, but it's, it's starting to take hold. Oh, South Korea. South Korea, I think, is the second fastest growing number of cases now. I wonder how many it'll end up infecting in the long term. Okay, we're good for beams, we just have to get more pipe. It's kind of an interesting virus in some ways because it's uh, it's got a high, high R naught, which means it for every person that is infected that interacts with another people, it infects uh, between I think they're thinking between four and close to eight people. So it's a high R naught, and it also you can be you can carry it and be asymptomatic, no symptoms but infected and able to spread it for up to 23 days, I think is the longest piece so far. So there could be like, you know, thousands and thousands of people out there that seem totally fine, just spreading it. It also lives on surfaces for many, many days. So anything they touch that doesn't get sanitized. Anyway, I definitely wash my hands more than I used to now. And I used to wash them quite a bit. Gotta be vigilant. Okay, back on task here. Back on target. Upgrade the coal. I think I have everything I need. And then I'll have to upgrade this belt. So maybe we should be doing that as we as we go. Logistics, belt mark three. Let's put that on our toolbar as three now. We'll have to go back and upgrade the rest after, but this belt now goes 270, which we will need if we're gonna mark two, both of these coal things here. Let's do the belts first, get that out of the way. And I gotta do the end of the belt. Oh, the mark two miner probably uses more power. 60. Uh, how many watts do we have? Five megawatts, so oh, we might have a background out here. Mark two miner takes what? Mark two miner, 12 megawatts. Oh, that's not too bad. Can we upgrade it? Oh yeah, nice. So now we're up to 120 per minute. Yeah, so plus another 120, we'll be at 240. The bell can hold 270. I don't know why they picked 270. It's kind of a weird amount. Great, this one. Check our power. Oh, we're okay at the moment. So, yeah, 240. We could overclock these a bit, but that's good for now. 240, 240. Make sure I upgraded all my belt. Oh, that, that's Mark two. Oh, I used the wrong key just now. We don't need this coal on us. That can be garbaged. There we go. Mark three, mark three. I think that's all mark three. Some of you commented that I missed a few bits of built, and it's true, and I I think I fixed them all. And now we can run on this thing. We should be going nice and fast. I used to get around using mark four belts, I think. So this one's not, this one's good. This one needs upgrading. This is a good way to make sure we get all the sections, I think. Okay, that one I'll leave slow, I think. Well, actually, we got we got quite a bit now. I think we can... I think we can upgrade it. I'll have to go upgrade the other sections in a bit here. Let's get this into the factory done. Into the power plant. Let's pick up some garbage here. Clean it all up. And then we got a bottleneck right here, this thing. I'll have to upgrade that. Bear lift mark three. Upgraded. 
Let's go get the belts upstairs, and that should be much better for the coal. Probably got some missing bits here. That one, that one. That one's not being used yet, so that's not a big deal. These don't technically need to be upgraded, but we'll just do it all. Can you use control for this? No. Okay, make sure I get every single little bit. Like I said, th these don't technically need to be upgraded, but we'll just do it all for consistency. That. Okay. okay. Oh, I almost missed a little tiny section. And this one, this one doesn't need to be upgraded. And these are coming from a regular coal reserve, but I think we should go upgrade them anyway, because it's not too expensive to upgrade them. Can't afford, or we're out of steel beam. Okay, back we go. I definitely have to upgrade my steel beam production and add a foundry or two. Have to do some math on what we can actually do now. These are using 90 coal per minute. We've got 240 coming in. So we got quite a bit of spare coal here. I can't afford that. Okay. And these are all 60, 60 belts, so we'll have to upgrade them. Let's check our coupons here. We got 19 coupons. We almost have enough for the cyber wagon. What was I doing here? A oh, quick wire. Okay. Don't need that just for a while. You know what? That can all probably come down, but I'll leave it. And... What else can we do here? I need to add more power. Should we do that now? Or later? I think we need to do it pretty soon here. That should probably be the next order of business. I'm going to have to go build two more water thingies. are down here. Water extractors require... Okay, we got enough to build two of those. And I'm not sure about the power though. And then we'll have to build another pipeline. And kind of lift it similar to what we did before. And then build another six coal generators. Okay, I don't know if I'll have enough power for the water though. It's going to be touch or touch and go here. Okay. Oh, I also need pipeline, so let's get that ready too. That will be... We got 200 of those things. We need more than, more than that. I think I put them here. Yeah, let's take uh, a couple of those. Coal's not needed. Oh, I still have two portable miners on me. Oops. Oh, we got we got two back from upgrading. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So water collectors, pipeline. I probably should have used the pipeline stacker, but we can build one just side by side. Probably going to do a mirror image of what we have here. And then branch off here, maybe. Not branch, but load it up over there. Then we'll need 180 coal per minute if we do them all. Which we probably won't. We'll probably just add two more for now. Oh, and there's uranium there, so be careful. <laughs> oh, and I got a few comments about my double 
pumps there. I think only one is necessary. If you put them too close together, they're not, they're not really helping. Oh, where did you come from? Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, get the weapon ready. Oh, two hits and you're... You're out of there. Okay, well, how much power do these, do these use? 20 megawatts. Okay. Let's get those going. Oh, there's someone swimming. Hello. <laughs> now, where do we want to put these? Somewhat orderly. I'll try to put this as close to this as possible, maybe. We'll have to put more back there later. Guys, I can hear the... He's in there somewhere. Hello? I think he's underneath that thing. Okay, we need two of these, so let's do another one. Let's try using their middle mouse button. Oh, yes, I like that. I'm trying to maximize the space here. Uh-oh, he sounds really close. Whoa! What is he doing? He's not happy. Uh -oh. I think he's I think I think he's bugged out. <laughs> he was wigging out. Okay, we need power here. Let's grab that power line, get it over here. Actually let's do one back over there. And chain off that one to here. That one, that one. Now we'll try to not go uphill here. We'll try to go here and then straight across without. We're probably gonna get a power shortage here. We gotta merge these pipes. Okay, that can go here. Let's do a merging bit. Then we'll merge this one in. Uh oh. Oh crap. I have blown the power again. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just build our pipeline because once we get it up and running will be good. I should probably raise this off the ground a bit to make it easier to run around and stuff, but we might be okay. We're not going up that high. Where's my other pipeline? Right there. We're gonna try to follow it. Oh, too long. I should have stacked these, and maybe someday I'll go back and fix it. But for now, we're just going to do it this way. I think I raised it to make it easier to run, run here. And maybe I should be doing that. Yeah, let's raise it a bit. We'll just raise it like the other one. Up, I don't know, three notches. Oh, maybe there isn't a... Oh, yeah, there's a pump right here. Let's copy that. And stick that... Just below where we're going up. Oh, encroaching. Okay, we can stick it here instead. Maybe. Somewhere. In, oh, oh. That might work. We shall find out. Soon enough. And we'll try to just mirror this here. Don't want to go too high. Okay, it's coming together.
And like I said, I don't think two of these is working. One is probably enough. And then I was going to branch kind of over this way. So we could go up that way. A little bit cleaner. We might need another pump to get uphill here. We're going to definitely need a pump to go up the big hill though. Okay, that should be good. I could tie into some biomass just to bootstrap everything here. Okay, let's try to get from here to there. All the way up there, will it fit? Will it work? We shall find out. Build it from the bottom or from the top down. Oh, that'll work, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Bring it over a bit. Actually, it can go. It could probably go right here. Okay, let's just get one coal factory set up. And then we can uh, hopefully just get everything back running again. Okay, the coal, what are we doing here? We're going kind of branching down with the coal. With various splitters, let's take this away. And do, do a stacker here. this in there. Can't afford. We've run out of steel beam. Okay, maybe I'll use some other belt just for now. We'll have to come back and remember to fix it. Conveyor belt mark two. We got, we can do that. And then we're going to split here. Let's build the pipe first. So the pipe kind of has to come up here. We have a new technology here. Stackable pipeline. I should have used it earlier, but uh, I guess what we'll do here is, I don't know, maybe go side by side here. Get that connected to that. No, we need a branch here. Okay, I think this works. Like this. Do this. We'll connect these. Actually, I don't want that connected. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's see. That goes to here. And then we'll merge in right here with a T. This should work. And then we'll come over here a little bit. We're not going to join. We're not going to fuse to this one. Because we don't want we want them to be independent systems. A T here. Kind of lined up with this. There we go. Okay. That goes there. And the coal can go underneath kind of. I hope we can I hope this will work. Bear belt mark. Uh, two. Yes. Okay. Now we just have to hook it to the power grid. And I think we can maybe fire this puppy up. Maybe. No, we don't have any water in the system. That's kind of a problem. How much water do we have in this pipe? We have some spare water in here, so if we temporarily join this to that, we are going to get water in the pipe, I think. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Water should go flow into here. We got water. Let's try to boot it now. Beauty. Beautiful. And if we then remove that segment, oops, I want to 
it back here. If we remove that, will we still get water coming in? No. Oh. No. Okay. We're going to run out of water very quickly here. So let's fuse those back together. And go fix our pressure issue. Which I think is the main problem here. Let's do some sliding. Okay, that one's fine. Oh yeah, we didn't have a we didn't have a pump going uphill. Okay. So we shall copy you. And do that. Did it just go offline again? No, we're still good. And we have what kind of pressure do we have here? Not very much. We might want another pump here. Just to get the... Because we went uphill slightly. Okay. I think that's good. Got good. Oh, there we go. Flow rate 140, 150, 160. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Let's go remove that segment and see if it all works. And I think for safety, we should build yet another coal power plant. Because we can. Mash it in there as close as possible. Okay, this segment, do I want to get rid of that one? Right there. Got to make sure this stays positive. That looks good. Okay. I think we're good. Now we just rinse and repeat five, four more times, five more times. This goes here. And the coal, we need to bring the coal through. This might get a little bit messy here. I think we can get through here. Uh, yep, no problem. Not a problem. And then we need to split off here. A little bit hairy, but it works. Okay. And let's hook that up to here. Should probably line those up nicely, but this is the back of the power plant. Okay, we got some breathing room. We have breathing room. <laughs> I think I probably want to do one more. Oops. Okay, we're going to rinse and repeat that one more time. room to do a T-junction? I think so. Well, it might be a little bit a little bit wonky. Oh no, we can do it right there. That'll be good. Water, and then coal. Back this up here. Copy that. It's not working. Okay. But that is. What the heck? <laughs> Do I have enough material? There it goes. 
And we put a splitter right there. Okay. There we go. Breathing room. More breathing room. And she spun up. We're up to, okay, 600 and... Whatever that is. Capacity, 675. Perfect. And now I gotta go turn some stuff back on that I had going. And maybe we'll get this hypertube milestone out of the way. Let's go turn this back on. Oh, it wasn't even connected. I disconnected it. It's back. That's good. Okay, we got that going. What was this doing? That's uh, not useful at the moment. Oh, we got a hundred of these already. Let's uh, let's go sh shovel them in. Ah, uh, you know what? We don't need to yet. We need five hundred of them anyway. But this is offline again, so let's turn that on. That should be good to go. And I think I have everything turned back on again. Now, can I build a manufacturer yet? Or do I need it? No, let's check the last piece of the puzzle, the wire. Automated wiring. Okay, what do we need here? Stator. Stator. Stator, I think. We aren't making any of those yet. Actually, I should have kept that assembler because I want to check another recipe here. Stator requires steel pipe and copper wire. Hmm. Unfortunately, we have our copper production down here and our steel pipe production on the second floor. So, what should we do here? We could hand deliver some pipe, set up a temporary thing. Or we could just bring the copper wire up to the second floor. Or we could build our rebuild our copper up all on the second floor. That's an option. We could just feed a belt up there, but that's get, getting really messy. It wouldn't be terrible, but it wouldn't be great either. But yeah, we could do a conveyor lift off the side here. And side load it in here. Let's do an assembler back here. Okay, we'll leave some space to run around and bring it back to here. Okay, so those need steel pipe and wire. I think I might pipe over here. We'll lift that off the ground a little bit. Okay, I need to get some more of these for belts and stuff. Oops, that goes there and then that goes over here. And that is totally backwards. You know what, let's build it over a little bit. I left enough room there. Yeah. That can go in there. And then the copper wire will just bring up here. But for now, let's just chuck some in the hold here. And get some power going. 
I'm going to do another power line right beside this one and then extend from there. We'll stick it right in the center line there. Okay. We got staters going. Stater? Stater? I can never remember. Pretty sure it's stater. And let's check those in a box. You know what? We could make motors, but I think we're going to need staters for certain things. So let's just queue them up in a box. For now. But we don't... Yeah, the rotors The rotors are downstairs as well. Hmm. This factory wasn't planned out very well, was it? To do a big reorg. And we need more foundries. Now that we have the coal, we could do that. I think I'll do that off camera. We'll just... Well, I guess we could quickly just build one here. Leave a bit of room. These things are very coal hungry. We got tons of iron here. So that's not a problem. We could split this off. And someone said I should just stack these. Like build... Can we build these on a... Hmm. For now, I'll just do this. So that's iron. Our power line over here. So we already got the copper split. Let's just chuck that in here. And cross our fingers that we have enough coal. I need to upgrade a bunch of lines here. Mark three. Let's do, do everything mark three. And let's upgrade this lift. That's good. Let's do this one too. Can't afford. That'll change pretty soon because we're going to up the production of this stuff. Steel ingot. Good. Okay, we got two foundries up. And I think one of these is starved, so this needs 30, this needs 60, and we're only making 60, I think. Oh, we're not even making 60. Okay, so easy decision to make here. This will be dedicated. Yeah, this will be dedicated to steel beams. And this will be dedicated to the other one. Steel. Oh, we're out of belt here. Mark two belts, fine. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And really, we should be splitting this because this only uses 30 per minute, and we're going to have a bit of a bottleneck because we're getting 45 out of there. doing for time. Oh, I'm out of time. Jeez. Okay, we'll let the factory run um, overnight again, maybe, or at least for a couple of hours. We'll collect up some supplies, and we'll do some more milestones. I kind of want to get all the research done, and then reconfigure my factory. Because then I'll know all the ratios, I'll know everything I need. We'll f go find some hard drives as well. And yeah, we'll plan things a little bit better. It's all new to me, all the new ratios, and I didn't want to spoil myself with looking stuff up, so. That's the plan. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.